welcome back to another vlog. <gasps> Sagey learned how to say diaper this morning. He say diaper. <laughs> diaper? No? <laughs> what? Don't mind my extremely, extremely dirty floors. I think I've mentioned this in the last vlog or two. I have not had a vacuum in freaking like four weeks, going on five weeks, freaking broke. Brought it into the shop. Yeah, we brought it into the shop and it, I thought, hey, it's gonna take, hey, maybe a week. They gotta order parts, they gotta do their job, cool. It has been over a month now and honey, I have a golden retriever. Yeah. Can you blow kisses? Yay! I am psycho about my floors, so we can only imagine how awful this is for me. See hair? <laughs> these, these girls are all over me 24 seven. It's my dream come true. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I already had my morning herbal concoction with all that good stuff over there. So I have to do these, and then I did some of the capsules in here orange juice beverage thing. All right, little miss, what are we having for breakfast? You have some blueberry, whoa, blueberry waffles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have some papaya. I don't know if you like papaya. I, we haven't had papaya since you were little. So I'm gonna have some papaya myself. My micro C drink and then some chicory root, which this is not coffee, not caffeine, but it is an alternative for coffee because I'm a coffee lover, guys. But I'm trying to get caffeine out of my system so my adrenals can heal and my body can heal. And then I let her eat for a while until she's towards the end of her meal and then we will FaceTime my mom. Okay, so Sage already had her birthday, but she hasn't had her birthday party. So I've been trying to plan for this. So I just kind of set everything out on the table so I can see what I have and kind of go through my list and see just what I need to take care of. And I feel like I have so much to do, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Got all the napkins, plates, cutlery, all that kind of stuff her birthday sign, some stuff to put in the gift bags, um, which I don't know if I have enough stuff to put in them, so that's a whole other thing. The food is just gonna be a big table full of a charcuterie board. So I got these cute little things off of Amazon, like little tongs and forks and stuff like that. And just like thinking of things and just setting on the table. So I'm like, for the cake, we need a knife. These are gonna go on the cupcakes. Can we even handle how freaking cute this is? And we are gonna do a little balloon arch, but it's not gonna be anything crazy. It's a really small one. I didn't wanna go all out with a million balloons with little babies. It just makes me nervous. And this is a little thing that goes in her high chair. This is her birthday dress. And then these are the snacks for the kids coming. And there's some older kids, so maybe they'll have this. After I bought these, I was like, wait, that was actually stupid to buy this candy because there's babies at the party. And then what I need to do today is get all of the pictures printed for this which I'm kind of in the process of. I just need to go ahead and do that and hopefully they're ready to pick up in the next couple of days because I don't have a lot of time. Other things I need to do would be confirm that the cake is being made. I called them, they told me to email them. I emailed them, they asked for my number to confirm or to pay or whatever and they haven't responded in like several days. So I just emailed them again was like, hey, because they're closed because I couldn't call them. It's a whole thing and I'm like, I need this cake by the end of the week. So I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but we just are playing communication tag. So yeah, I'm planning her party the same week as a big holiday. So I'm trying to figure out recipes for Thanksgiving and we're having kind of two Thanksgiving. So my parents are coming into town this weekend, staying for a full week. So my mom and I have to like figure out recipes for our little Thanksgiving and then for the, then for Clark's family's Thanksgiving that we're all going to which I can't wrap my mind around that. I'm like, I need to get through this party and then I can think about Thanksgiving. Parents are coming in town at the end of the week and then I have my cousins coming at the end of the week as well. My brother is coming. So there's gonna be like 10 of us, like 10 people in my small, small house in small, tiny bathrooms, but it's gonna be fun. We're just gonna have people kind of scattered literally all throughout the house. So I think I'm gonna wait to decorate for Christmas like fully 
until after everyone leaves. Might do a little bit before they come. Might go shopping this week, I don't know. But I think I might wait for the tree and stuff when everyone's gone. Cause my parents are gonna have their two big dogs here. So there's gonna be three big dogs, 10 people. It's gonna be crazy. So I might wait on that. And I did ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to do Vlogmas, which is uploading every single day in December all the way until Christmas. And I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going through pictures to get printed and I cannot even take how little she was. Guys, this is killing me. Look at my sweet little baby. <laughs> She's so big, oh my gosh. I'm getting groceries today and yesterday I went through and made a list of everything that we're having for dinner this week and I usually like to make extra, like I'll double the recipe for a lot of these so we have extras for lunch. But this has been such a game changer. I don't do this every week, but when I do it, when I'm actually organized and do it, I'm so happy and I feel like it's one less thing I have to think about during the day. This template is from Milena Ciciotti. I don't know if you guys follow her. A lot of times I just come up with recipes on my own. I, I've been so bad about posting on my blog. I have some recipes on there, I'll link them, but most of the recipes are gonna come from my Pinterest page. I'll find them and I save them there, so I'll link that below. And then maybe that can give you guys some inspiration for some healthy plant-based and gluten-free meals. Right now, I am making my chickpea salad. So it's kind of like a mock-up of like a chicken salad or um, like a tuna salad, just depending on how you season it and whatnot. I'm making a big batch of this so that I have it for lunches over the next few days. And I'm gonna see if Sage likes it. I change it up usually every single time that I make it, but essentially it's like chickpeas, onions, a little bit of mustard, some seasonings. You can do like a vegan mayo with it. It's very, very good. And I have some sourdough toast I can put it on. Oh. Okay, I'm having some crackers and vegan cheese. So will you guys tell me what kind of videos you wanna see for Vlogmas. So just like, okay, do you wanna see, you know, ideas for baby gifts or gifts for, you know, your sister or friend or whatever? Or do you wanna see some baking of Christmas cookies or, you know, plant-based recipes, stuff like that? Just let me know. Maybe some workouts or something. I mean, maybe some decorating. I don't know, what kind of things do you guys wanna see? Let me know now so I can start to kind of plan out the month of December for this insane thing that I'm taking on. Literally the only way I can get stuff done or meals cooked is just to let her open up all the cabinets and just take things out of it and play in them, whatever. Alrighty, for her lunch, we have a little cucumber. We have some gluten-free sourdough for the bread with some of the chickpea salad stuff on top and then a little leftovers from last night, which is just some beans, peas, sweet potatoes, and yeah. And then here's my lunch. I wish I had tomatoes to put on this. I wish I had tomatoes. Sagey, do you wanna eat? Eat, eat, yes. <laughs> okay, let's go eat. I ended up putting hot sauce on it because let's be honest. All right, let's see if she likes it. You like it? It's good, huh? I think she likes it. Yeah, I'm so glad. Freezing outside. What is the temperature? Okay, we are heading out for our adventure of the day, which is picking up groceries. We are so fun. So fun. We got the whole gang. Mommy. Hey, cutie. What are you saying? Mommy. Keep your socks on. It's cold, baby. Keep your socks on. It's cold. Okay. Mommy. Okay. 
Let's do a little haul. I'll show you what I got. All right, got some cauliflower frozen and fresh because I wasn't sure what they were gonna have and I really want to make the sticky cauliflower recipe. So I just got a lot of that. Some cilantro for my heavy metal detox smoothie. Got a bunch of potatoes. Got some blackberries, these are Sage's favorite. A bunch of celery for my celery juice. Got Clark his bread. If you're getting oat bread, make sure that you get organic because oats are sprayed like crazy with pesticides. So just make sure you're getting organic oats. More potatoes, cause why not? Got some almond milk, some soy milk. Then I got some coconut aminos for the recipe. I was out of uh, oregano, so I got some oregano. And then the one recipe called for pure pineapple juice. So I thought, why not just go ahead and just buy this? It's clean, so that's fine. Coconut flour, because I might try to make her a funfetti cake now for her birthday. I don't know, guys. I know my last vlog, I made her a cake, but we'll see. Sweet potatoes, two things of tomato paste, um, some fresh broccoli, and asparagus. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Since I have zero extra space in our house, I have to just make do with what I have. So as you saw, I just moved that stuff over and that's how I tape my auditions. Um, if you're new around here, I'm an actress. You like film, television, commercials, that kind of thing. I haven't worked in a hot minute. COVID, everything got really weird, very weird. And then I got pregnant, and you know, that changes things. And then had a baby who wouldn't take a bottle. So that changed things. And then still with COVID things, we'll just say it's, um, yeah, it's different on set now and things are just kind of weird. So haven't been working as much over the last couple years, which is weird, but it's all good. And trying to get back into it now. So I just have to tape something very quickly for a commercial. So I'm gonna knock that out while she is sleeping. All right, I'm going to attempt dinner. She is just at my feet, pulling at my sweatpants, saying, mom, mom, mama, just following me all around. So I'm gonna wear her. And guys, I realize I have gone through so many baby carriers. I guess that's, the beauty of being a first time mom and then being able to share about the things you use. This one is the new, a what baby? This is the new Ariel. What, are you hungry? You hungry? You hungry? Okay, one second. Also, it is 5.50 and it literally is pitch black out. I do not like that. Anyway, this is the new Ariel carrier from Wild. Bird, yes, wild bird, and uh, I love it. When I was using before this one was the what's it called, Bebco or Baco? I don't know. I, I honestly don't remember what the brand was. I got it off of Amazon, and I used that when I was traveling um, a couple months ago, and I really liked it. But they sent me this one, and I okay. Do you want more? Here, here you go. You said you want more. Say hi. Hi. Anyway, my point is that I really like it and it's really cute and it's working. So I'm gonna attempt to cook dinner while I'm holding her. It's just hard now that she's bigger, like cutting things and whatever. But anyway, I like the carrier. It's cute, it's great, it's comfortable. Yeah, making a sesame cauliflower, a sticky sesame cauliflower recipe. I've made this one up. I know. I've made this one other time and it was really good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make it again. two days later. Something very strange just happened. Something that has never happened before. Nala just left to go get groomed. Nala is two and a half years old and has never been groomed before. Like properly groomed, like I do it myself. I'm just like, I can do it, we'll save money, and one less thing to pay for. And then after having a baby, I'm like, no, 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 no. I am delegating, I am outsourcing things. So that's what I'm doing. So this girl comes and picks up your dog 
takes her to her place, grooms them, and brings them back. I'm like, that, that is a win for me. It just feels so weird without her here. Sage is sleeping and Nala's gone. It just is very, very weird. I'm like, <sighs> paralyzed by opportunity, you know? All right, I'm also very sad because I had two dresses that I had ordered for Sage's party. Cause I'm just like, I have nothing to freaking wear. And I ordered two dresses off of Amazon and they got delivered yesterday, but not to my house. No, not to my house. So I was gonna try them on for you, but they're not here. They're at a neighbor's or something. We drove around because there's someone who has the same exact like number address as us on the street over. It's a different street, but the same numbers. And we usually get each other stuff. So I'm just hoping that they have it and I can't go in there and like open their mailbox. But Clark drove by this morning and didn't see anything on the porch. But I'm hoping that they just bring it to me. But if not, I'll have to reorder a dress or figure out something, so. Okay, so you guys saw that I got Sage her play kitchen for her birthday. And then I ordered some decals to go on it, kind of like spice it up and make it really cute. But I don't know if I'm going to use them or not because I kind of like the white. So let me just show you what I got. All right, this is supposed to be like a faux wood backsplash that goes back there. But I don't know if I love it. And I'm kind of confused because it's not hard, obviously. So this like peels off and would stick to something, but there's nothing for it to stick to. So I'm not sure how this is even supposed to work. And then this is the color that is supposed to go on everything that's white. So it's like this really cute, really subtle blush pink color, but I kind of like the white. I don't know if I want to make it pink. I'm like, what do I do guys? What do I do? I just don't know. The other part that I am for sure doing is this it's like a fake little rattan and this goes on the you can't see it this would go on the oven right there and then there's a piece for the microwave so i might go ahead and just put these on right now what's your opinion should i put the pink on or should i just let it be white tell me Okay, that's super cute, right? I really like that. And I almost like the white even more now with the little rattan decal. Oh gosh, okay. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna put the pink on it. And I don't know if I can return it. Probably would be more expensive to return it to Australia than just keep it. I just looked it up and for this part, the backsplash, I have to go get like plywood or something like that, cut a very specific size and then put it on and then put it in the back and I'm like, when am I gonna ever do that? That sounds like a job for Clark. I've had this sweater for probably five years now. I wear it every single winter. It is the most comfortable, cozy thing in the world. And I just pulled it out for the first time and I'm thrilled. Hi, it is the next day because, okay. Seiji, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to balance you on the couch and she's about to grab the tripod. I got the worst migraine yesterday, so I couldn't film anymore. But look what was on my porch, my dresses. So I'm gonna try these on quickly and then I want you guys to let me know which one you like best and maybe that's the one that I'll wear on Sunday for her party. Here's the first one. It's like this turtleneck sweater dress. I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole outfit. <sighs> So there's nowhere in my house I can get a full body shot. Okay, I think you can see this, I can't really tell. Okay, this is cute. Got the medium so it wasn't too short because... What? <laughs> what, do you like this one, Seiji? Do you like this dress? No, I'm just worried about it being too short and... <laughs> and it exposing me or something, um, but it is... What? <sighs> Do you like it? He's cute, right? That's kind of like a little bit of bigger belled sleeves, kinda. I like it, it's cute. I'm just, again, worried about it being too short. What do you think? You like it? Okay, this one is next. This one's really cute, so it's more fitted and it's ribbed. She's gonna wear her white dress with her pink ribbed leggings and they're literally exactly this, so I think that would be kind of cute that we'd 
be more matchy matchy, you know? Um, so it goes to like, what baby? You taking your socks off? Okay, you can take your socks off. Goes to like a couple inches under my knees. Uh, yeah, I think this is, this might be the winner. I feel like this one is maybe more, I don't know. Tell me which one, the sweater dress or the fitted dress? Sagey, do you want to end the vlog here? Should we be done with the vlog now? All right, I think we are gonna be done. I need to edit this and get it out today, which would be a miracle, but we'll see if I can do it. The next video is gonna be her birthday party, which I probably would just do a lot of like B-roll and stuff like that. I don't know how much of like a vlog style it'll be because I'll be busy just putting everything together and being present at the party, but I'll try to like pass off the camera and see if my mom will get some clips or something, so. Um, I'll just put together whatever I have and put it up. Okay, you wanna say bye? Do you wanna say bye to the camera? Do you wanna face them and say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You wave bye-bye. Bye. Wave to them and say bye. <laughs> You're so cute.